Oh. Weirdest weather ever. We should be somewhat close to the last shrine, though. Hello. Hello. I wonder if it is this one. Is this a pilgrim? Oh yes, indeed. Ask and I will listen. Hello. What do you want? Oh, you are a resident of Gotcho. It's no Skyrim stronghold, but this place suits me well enough. I can't say I miss life in the cold of the north all that much now. Yeah, indeed. I tend to the shrine here in town. It's such a shame the way so many of them have been allowed to languish in the ruins. Indeed. But are you not part of the Order of the Hours? You should go there and get a license to actually do this for real, proper, you know. Now Grakash is gonna explain her everything. <laughs> everything. Take care. You too. And there are some pilgrims doing their thing. Well, this was not the right shrine, apparently. <laughs> but we've prayed nonetheless. How weird this weather. But it is kind of interesting. Charming, I suppose. It is pretty in an odd way. This is the shrine um, where pilgrims go to, usually. I'm gonna go grab some food. I mean, Grakash has noticed that some of the way shrines that she's required to pray at are not the usual shrines the average pilgrim uh, prays at. Which is curious, but I mean, there are so many way shrines. We are at Brina Cross. And uh, the shrine we need should be around here. Where? Oh, Lord. Oh. Hello! What the hell? Guy, you're right. A remnant of the mythic dawn shouldn't be here. Shouldn't even exist anymore. <laughs> the constable probably knows if there are any shrines around here that are relatively unknown. How are you? Fine, thanks. All right, so we should go behind here, and then. Wow, this shrine is really uncharted, is it? And then behind the hill... Oh. Oh, Grakash, I hope we are not gonna get into trouble. 
end or get lost into the wilderness. We don't really know this area at all. And as you know, Grakash always avoids the wilderness when possible. Because she's not stupid. <laughs> well, there's a farm down there. There it is. There's a Spriggan down there. But we're gonna try and leave her alone. Here it is. This is it. This is... Uncharted. Yes, we are missing the Shrine of Arcade. Here we go then. <sighs> this is it. Rejoice! You've completed the pilgrimage of the Nine Way Shrines and gained the new power of Pilgrim's Grace. And now... Hail, Knight! You seek my relics with a worthy heart. Oh, what? <gasps> Your prayers have woken me from my endless dream. Or perhaps you have entered my dream and I still sleep. I think others have sometimes spoken to me. Others like you, but my memory is doubtful. Perhaps the others came after you. What? Your need must be great for the gods to allow us to speak. Well, it is. Has Umaril the accursed found a way back? The fairest of a foul race. A thousand curses upon his unholy name. Indeed. I thought I'd won, but I should have known. The slave masters are a cunning breed. Umaril found a way to cheat death as I could not. What should we do? If you would seek for my relics. I know little that can help you. All that has passed since my death is like mist that my mind cannot take hold of. My friends built a shrine upon the site of my death where the elves tormented me in a final act of revenge. I can show you where it once stood. Perhaps it is there still. And what I supposed to do there? Fare thee well, Sarah ah. Knight. May the gods grant you to destroy utterly. As I Wait! This was no solution at all. What just happened? Have I dreamt? Was this even real? What should I do now? Oh my god! I can't believe it! Krakash, have you been chosen? Well, what should we do now? Should we go back to Anvil? Should I go see the priest? I believe we had a vision. A legitimate vision. Oh, Gakash doesn't really understand if what just happened was real. She needs... She probably needs to drink and eat. Then she'll surely know what to do. The sensible thing would be going back to the priest and tell him what happened. Ask for clarity. Grakash feels like she's in a haze and with all this haze surrounding us, 
this all of this has the quality of a dream, something unreal. Rakesh doesn't even know hey, anymore if this is evening or morning. Well, it is confusing, Almost isn't it? Almost any creature you find is liable to give you a disease. <laughs> oh. Greetings to you. Greetings, Christoph. <sighs> I need to stop here for a while and have something to drink and to eat. See you. Be seeing you. Bye. We need to move on to Anvil. We can't stay here for much longer. Thank you, Christoph. <sighs> Oh, Rakesh is feeling so weird. The world is feeling so weird. Let's get to Anvil. We're going to arrive just in time. Oh. I'm listening. Good evening, dear guard. I'm arrived. Oh. That was smooth. Grakash is going to go directly to the priest. He's always there, isn't he? I think I crashed four times right here. I just I can't anymore. My crashes are just Becoming more and more and more. The evening service must have ended. He's here. My good priest. I believe I've had a vision. It almost looked like a dream. You are fortunate. A vision from the divine crusader himself is a sign of high favor. So you think it is real? I hope so. I've been told about a forgotten place I should visit. A vision from the Divine Crusader himself is a powerful sign. You are truly blessed by the gods. Hold to your purpose, and you may yet fulfill the prophecy. So this is it. This is me. Me, I'm gonna do it. Then what about the relics? Pelinol was taken by the aliens after his battle with Umaril, and his body cut into eight parts and scattered across their realm. After the fall of White Gold Tower, his friend Morahos the Indomitable found Pelinol's still living head kept alive in torment by alien magics. How horrid! Over the ages, knights have quested for the relics, and sometimes one or another of them have been found, but never for long. But we need to do it this time. Now, the time has come for a new divine crusader to arise, wielding the holy relics to destroy Umaril Godsbane once and for all. I have seen it. I will rise. I swear. Grakash is not really convinced, but she's putting on a good show. <laughs> she wants to do this, but she's very, very afraid, of course, and confused. So this is real. May the eight and one guide your steps. Oh, I'm so honored. Is there no one who would stand for the Let's go. To the guild. We need to go to the guild. They are still awake right now. Pretty sure. We need to give them the news and start writing letters to everybody and the order of the hours. Greetings, guild maid. Hello, Karahil. Guild. A pleasure to speak with you. I'm so happy to see you. I have... well, I have news. 
They Farewell. say that when you murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. It's how they recruit new members. Taron. No, come on. Trade and freed the beast from Mark, Sinatra. did you hear it the news? I'm sort of excited and worried you should pray for me. <laughs> Karel is very proud of Grakash. Very, very much. <sighs> I'm so grateful, Karel. <sighs> Thank you for letting me sleep here. Hey, Fallon. Have you heard the news? Where are you going, Thoron? Have you heard the news then? Karahil, of course, is very happy about sheltering Grakash right now. I mean, if Grakash becomes the Holy Crusader, she will become popular. Well met, Guildmate. Karahil would you want the Mage's me. Guild Hello, to be associated Guild. with Grakash. And herself, of course. Grakash does like this kind of attention and the sense of privilege that comes with it. And the fact that everybody is looking at her Hello, with a newly Evoke. found respect. Well, this well, has well. always been what Grakash wanted from life. She has been chosen, right? So the little pride she takes with uh, her new vocation must not be all that bad. Well met, Guildmate. A bunch of letters have to be written right now and sent tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Oh, it is a good morning. It looks like it. Ah, the guys are still sleeping, as always. <sighs> Rakash needs um, to move quickly, go to the post office, send the letters she has written quite late at night yesterday, but I mean, it needed to be done, didn't it? And then she's moving on to where she has been suggested by her vision. She will not waste much more time around from now on because Grakash doesn't really know what Umaril will do next, what his plans are. So she needs to try and fulfill her mission as soon as she humanly can. It's very early as you can see because Karahil is not here yet. Again, with this haze. It's very ominous, but nothing is gonna stop us. Not now, not ever. Go ahead. Rakash is afraid. But she's liking everything that comes with this. Let's go to the post office and then we will be on the road. It's a bit windy. We have arrived in Pell's Gate after a very long, arduous walk. <laughs> but Krakash managed. She's now very trained and again, moved by the gods. <laughs> so nothing is impossible for her. We will have to sleep here tonight. We will do the sacrifice. Of course. Right now, Krakash is very tired. We won't be able to go uh, where we need to until tomorrow morning. She stopped in the Skingrad outskirts pub. Um, she went with the Graklag and Agnete and stopped for some food that she, co that she consumed along the way, just not waste time. And now she really needs to eat, drink and rest. And it's evening. Basically, or very soon it will be. It doesn't look like the weather is gonna be good, does it? <sighs> good evening. Welcome to Pulse Gate, stranger! Only quality goods for sale here. What ah. Some tea, of course. You're a fine negotiator. Hmm. 
and then let's have uh, a meal some Pell's Gate cheese a vegetable pie and uh, well an apple come back and see me again thank you very much I would also like to have a bed. I have a room if you're interested. It's ten gold for a night. It will have to do. Go upstairs and look for the first door. Sleep well. Thank you very much. Farewell. Ah. I will eat here though. Very dark. Oh, what a day. What a walk. Ah, this was really good. Candice. <sighs> Tomorrow... Hello. Hello. Tomorrow morning I need to do a very good breakfast. Uh, it's gonna be trying. I'm very tired, so I'll go to sleep. Thank you very much. Uh, this is it. Well, it could be worse. Oh well, uh, that wasn't the best sleep Grakash had, but it did the job. Oh, what? <laughs> My God. Glitchy much. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Everybody is in a bad mood in the morning. Hello. <laughs> it's understandable. I offer the finest goods and lowest pr I'm gonna have some more tea. Uh, I believe I'll eat an apple and some more cheese. You're a fine negotiator. Farewell. Farewell and thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. What's the latest? All that stuff about having to set trolls on fire is a bunch of hooey. They don't like fire, but a good sword will cut them up fine. So I've heard. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Let's eat. This place is busy. Ah, they say syndicates and wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods in the Good land morning. of the Altmer. The have powerful wizards. It is Could be probably six situation. in the morning. Yeah. There are some stars in the sky. Still. Everybody wakes up early. So nice. And now, let's go to this place. We are energized, somewhat rested, <laughs> right? And filled up. Oh, the Arcane University. Elise and Druya are just there. Grakash wonders if the letters have arrived yet to all her friends. They must be proud of her. I wonder how are we going to go underwater with our armor. Well, the spell that Ditsan gave us allows us to cast a feather and a water breathing at the same time, so I suppose we will be able to do it. We need to do it, we have to do it. It looks very beautiful. Here we go. But... <sighs> Oh, 
how do we do this? <laughs> well, we know how, right, Krakash? We just need to do it. I don't think Rakash can believe she's come to that point yet. She's just going on autopilot. She's doing what the divines are telling her. She's very confused. But, you know, there are stakes. We need to be somewhat quick. Be as swift as we can. We don't want other people to be killed or to be in danger. There is this sense of urgency, of course. Mm. Let's go down from here. Right. We found Vanua. Sounds alien. Makes sense. Mm. It's gonna be uh, very harsh. Because the wet armor will weigh us down a lot. But then what? What's gonna wait for us down there? The water is really murky. It's horrible. <laughs> Why? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this submerged? Oh. oh, it's not completely submerged. Oh, what a leaf! But what was that? <gasps> it looks like I'm dead. Well, of course, what else? Nobody has ever been here then, Grakash, because this was lost in time. Whatever is in here, we must have faith that we'll be able to go through it. The divines will guide us. Fire it is. 